this class, what we're going to talk about first before we get into the rest of the aspects of sailing and learning to sail are the basic boat parts and some of the terminology that will be helpful uh, when we go out on the water and we talk about the other aspects so that we're sharing the same communication language. The basic boat, the main part of the boat is called the hull that sits in the water and below the hull is what we call a keel. Uh, at the back of the keel is called the rudder and we use the rudder ultimately to steer the boat. The front of the boat is referred to as the bow. The back of the boat is referred to as the stern. And here we have the mast going up and the boom coming back. The mast and the boom will be what we put our mainsail on. And you see these lines that we've drawn on here. We have a wire rope cable that comes from the bow up to the top of the mast, from the top of the mast back to the stern. Those are called stays. This is the fore stay. This is the back stay. And we have also on the sides of the mast, on each side, generally three, sometimes two, but generally three side stays. These wire rope cables, once we stick the mast up, right, the wire rope cables are what keeps the mast standing and holds the loads that we put on the sails in the mast. And we refer to these as the standing rigging. Looking down on our same boat, we have the bow, which is the front of the boat, the stern, which is the back of the boat. We have our side stays, our fore stay, and our back stay. And we have a little cabin, cutty cabin area. So we have a cabin top, and out of the cabin top comes our mast. Uh, forward of the mast, we call that area the foredeck. Uh, back where we sit, with our little benches, is our cockpit. Uh, the boats we'll be sailing on use a tiller to steer the boat, and so you'll have a stick here that represents the tiller that's fixed to the rudder and turns the rudder in the opposite direction that you move the tiller. The sides of the boat we refer to, first of all, the left side of the boat as we're facing forward is port. The right side of the boat as we're facing forward is starboard. When I turn around and look to the back of the boat, port and starboard don't change because it's always viewed and communicated in relationship to looking forward. So the port side of the boat is always going to be the same side of the boat. It's the left side when you're looking forward. Starboard is the right side when you're looking forward. We have, uh, in addition to the uh, back part of the stern, which is the, the back of the, the boat, we have this area that we refer to, the face back here is called the transom. And then uh, the actual sides of the boat, the actual edges, are frequently referred to as the gunnels. When the boat is sitting in the water, the distance between the gunnels, the edge of the boat, and the water line is called our freeboard. It's the amount of free space we have above the water line. And the distance that the boat sits down in the water is called how much draft it draws. It's called the draft. So it could be three foot, three and a half, four foot, depending upon the size of the boat. So continuing discussion on our boat parts, now let's add the sails to the boat. Same basic boat, but now we have a four sail that in our case we're going to call a jib. And 
uh, mainsail. Now once I take a string or a rope from land and I take it to a boat and put it on a boat, we no longer refer to it as a rope, we refer to them as lines. So I have a lot of lines on the boat to help me control the sails. First of all, I have a line that's at the top of these sails that goes through a pulley and down to the bottom of the mast that help uh, allow me to raise the sails up. Those lines that we use to haul the sails up we call halyards. Once I have the sail up, now I need to be able to control the sail. So in the case of the jib, I have a line that's tied on the corner of the jib and one line comes back here and there's another line that goes back behind the mask just like the one in the, that we've drawn. So there's actually two lines. And then I have a, a line in the back of the main that goes through a series of pulleys to give me mechanical advantage and then leads out. These lines that control the movement of the sails are called sheets. So when they attach to the jib they're called jib sheets and when they attach to the main they're called main sheets and it's what I use to control the movement of the sail back and forth with my main sheet and perhaps hard to see but I also have jib sheets that I can use to control the movement of my jib. The lines that we use to raise the sails and control the sails we refer to as running rigging. So I have standing rigging that's used to hold my mast up and then I have running rigging which is used to control the movement of the sails. To fine tune this just a little bit when I have my sail up, if I have two types of booms. There are booms that are fixed here on the mast, and there are booms that actually slide up and down. If I have a boom that slides up and down, I will actually have another line that is used to pull the boom down. It's called a down haul. If I have a fixed boom, Instead of having a downhaul, I have a line with a little hook on it that goes through a grommet on the sail and comes down to another little block and tackle that is used to pull down on the edge of the sail called a cutting ham, used to tension the edge of the sail down to the bottom. With the sail on and to tension it out, to where the boom is, I have another line. It's called an outhaul. Usually, that line will tie to the back of the sail, go through a pulley, through the boom, and then out of the boom underneath where I can actually pull it and tension the bottom of the sail.